Okay. I'd like to share, uh, share a story with you that was in the news a month ago. Uh, Heather, a second grade uh, teacher and mother of two children, was diagnosed with the flu. Her doctor prescribed her medication, but she sc uh, skipped treatment because she couldn't afford the $116 copayment. Within a few days of her diagnosis, she was experiencing complications and was admitted into the intensive care unit. Heather died the following day uh, from septic shock, a mother of 20, uh, 38 years old. Each year, 64% of Americans delay or skip medical care due to cost. My name is Ron Widener. I'm the CEO of Empower. Our mission is to, is to develop financial solutions that ensure that employees that are engaged, enrolled in health plans have the financial means to access and pay for health care at their time of need. If we look at the exponential growth in health care costs over the years, uh, high deductible health plans have become the new normal. It's estimated that 51% of covered workers today have a deductible of $1,000 or more. 69% of Americans would have difficulty paying for a $1,000 expected medical expense. And 62% of Americans cite healthcare costs as the leading source of financial stress. The avoidance of care combined with financial stress is estimated to cost employers and their employees upwards of a half a bi uh, $500 billion annually from lost productivity, wages, and uh, increased medical cost. Now, some of you, this may be going too far back, but in my early days, we used to have one card, one vendor, to pay for our medical expenses. Today, we have multiple vendors, multiple cards, and multiple programs. So how we pay for medical care needs to be simplified. So I'm sort of excited to introduce uh, our HSA program, which we developed together with US HealthWorks, a subsidiary of Dignity Health. What we've built is a platform that allows us to integrate the employee health plan with different benefit programs. What that means for the employee is he has one card to pay for all his medical expenses. as one application to manage all their financial benefits and medical expenses. And I think the coolest things our engineers did is they built an AI coach that will help sim simplify financial decisions. If we look at the competitive landscape, there's really not a product offering I've come across in the market. I think our closest competitors are the HSA banks that can move into this space, but based on discussions we've been having with insurers and providers, uh, they're most likely going to partner with us. Sorry. As to our go-to-market strategy, we're looking to uh, first uh, start with mid-sized employers and then move to the larger self-insured employers and develop channel partnerships uh, with brokers, insurers, and providers. As to our revenue model, initially we'll be earning service and transaction fees at a later stage, uh, generating revenues from data analytics. Uh, we're targeting $100 million in sales by the end of 2022, based on uh, securing 125 employers and rolling a million employees in our program. I put together an exceptional group of seasoned executives that come out of the financial services, healthcare and technology, Ron Herbst from Deutsche Bank, myself for Allianz, over 30 years experience, and Dr. Kent Bradley, who's now on the board of Dignity Health, used to be the chief medical officer at Safeway, and Dan Cohen, used to be the chief medical officer at the Department of Defense. So our progress to date is we've formed a partnership with the Bank Corp and MasterCard. We've developed our technology program we launched a pilot with U.S. HealthWorks, the subsidiary of Dignity Health, and we secured $2.5 million in funding, and a third of that funding came from myself and other members of the team and advisors in our group. So I'd like to end with uh, a story of Laura. Laura is uh, pregnant with our first child. She's in our, uh, an employee of U.S. HealthWorks and in our pilot program earlier this year. She was diagnosed with a high-risk pregnancy. She was sent to a specialist, and in a matter of days, she needed to undergo a procedure. That meant she had to come up with $3,500 uh, 
to pay for out-of-pocket costs. She presented them our HSA card, was admitted, underwent the surgery, and since then, you know, we're happy that she was uh, delivered a beautiful baby girl. So each and every day, thousands of people, like Heather, are delaying or foregoing treatment because they don't have the financial resources uh, to pay for their out-of-pocket cost. I'd like you to help us in creating more stories like Laura. Our ask is over the next six months is the next step that we want to secure two to three employers, mid-sized employers to pilot with, and a strategic partner uh, that will serve as a distribution partner going forward. Thank you for your attention. And have a good afternoon. My shoes. My shoes.